Welcome back to another electro technology video. And in today's video, we are going to look at how to bend conduit. So let's have a look. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to bend a piece of PVC conduit the correct way. Now, to do this, we actually require a tool and the tool is what we call a conduit spring. That's something very simple. It looks just like a giant big spring, which is really what it is. However, to use this, we need to attach a piece of wire. We run the wire through the spring and then attach it to the bottom here. And the reason we do this is because when we put the spring in and we do our bending, and I'm gonna show you how to do that, when we need to pull the spring back out again, if we didn't pull from this end, pulling through there, it would stretch out the spring. And what happens is this. So this spring here, you can see has kind of got a bit of a kink into it uh, and it's been pulled like that. And it's still okay, but if you did that too much, then the spring would be no use to you and you'd have to throw it away. And they're rather expensive, so you don't want to do that. So you put the wire through to the other end, hold on to the other end and then pull it that way. So how do we actually go about bending the conduit. The first thing is we need to measure the point in which we're going to make the bend at. So if I had a piece of conduit like this one, I would then take my tape measure, mark out my point where I want to bend it, and keep in mind, anytime you're doing any conduit work, if there is writing on the conduit, because a lot of times the conduit will come along with printing on it, um, always try to hide that. Always try to put on the back sides when it's gonna get mounted to the wall that you can't see any writing. It's just, it makes it look a little bit more professional um, and a little bit more neat and tidy. So I've marked out my spot. This is where I want to bend. So then I take my spring and with my wire that's at the end, I'm going to measure it out and I'm gonna put a little kink at the end of the wire, or the end of the wire, in the middle of the wire, I should say. So when I put the spring in, it'll know where to stop. So there is my mark. This is the middle of my spring. I'll extend out the wire and I'll just put a kink just like that. And this is important, especially if you're doing you know, a bend in a longer piece of conduit, you'll definitely need to do that. Now I can put the spring into the conduit and when I push it through, that bend in the wire actually stopped the conduit going, uh, sorry, stop the spring from going all the way through. Um, but I now know that spring is there nice um, in between the point I need to bend. And to bend it, I literally just have to bend it either around my knee or any other particular hard surface that I could use. Most of the time on the job, I'm gonna use my knee. So I'm gonna bring my knee up like that and just bend. And there we go. Now, when we are bending our conduit, it's really important, depending on the bend that you want, that you always bend the conduit further than needed at a, a greater angle. So if I needed 90 degrees, for example, that is what I would actually bend my conduit out. You can see that's way more than 90 because when I take the spring out, the conduit's gonna wanna flex back again and try to form its shape. So if you bend it just a little bit further than the, the uh, angle you're after, that will work out well for you. So if you're happy with your bend, now you just take out the conduit spring like so, and you will see that that is now starting to flex back to a 90 degree bend. And it may not be 100% perfect, but once you then mount it and put your saddles on the wall, you can just give it a bit of an adjustment there because it'll still flex a little bit and get a nice, neat bend. That's all there is to it. Bending conduit is really, really easy. The most important thing is getting your measurement correct and putting your bends in the right spot. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.